Hey, Sarah. I'm getting too used to this. How long? Weeks. Relax. You haven't missed much. The Ark and the Sleepers, they're safe in the Sphere? There's no raising the Hyperion, but we're not done with it. It is Meridian. A new port for all of humanity. We did it, Dad. What about your implant and Sam? I am once again helping the Pathfinder activate Remnant. Our connection has been restored to normal. Normal? You need him again? I need Sam to make it easier. I was adapting, but damage was being done. We need to be careful, Sarah. The Nexus leaders are waiting, Pathfinder. Duty calls. Better not keep them waiting. It never ends. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has... accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time, I can handle a hot potato, but why throw it to me in the first place? Because we need it to be legitimate. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's approving leader. On a considerably smaller scale. He's kept Eos relatively stable, despite no militia presence. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. 
Meridian doesn't mean done. Cat are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. If we're going to treat Helios like a home, we need to acknowledge whose home it is. I won't name anyone. I support asking the Moshai to act as interim ambassador. Meridian's opening day, and we're surrendering how much influence? That's the point, you colonial ward. Sarah is feeling better? Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this. Integration of Hyperion systems is ongoing. Our SAM node will be accessible on return visits to Meridian. Ryder! Enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Finding Meridian crystallized a lot of things about being a Pathfinder. I expect many around here are thinking about their own potential. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. I can't do this without a good pilot. Or a great pilot. How about a pilot determined to help his friends? I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Don't, please don't tell him that. Things will change now, but that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. This is the first I've heard of the term second wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Darla Vos Hyperion. Placements officer? As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vos Meridian? I keep Vas Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive, Hunter. He is an ass. Ayora Pele, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Kelly, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity. But rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, what they said. Arc Hyperion. Departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. Please select a topic. The transformation of Arc Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. 
Ark Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, We turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Scott Ryder spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Ark Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status, pending. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Ark Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. There you are. And here you are. Lucky us. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two riders around soon. Imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. It's what you do. Meridian won't know what hit it. And we should think about what's next. 
This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? They've got us to keep watch. Your smarts, my irresistible charm. You can't fix every problem with charm, sweetheart. I can try. Well, I know I can't resist you. I'm just concerned for everyone else. Everything Meridian could do. Small steps, like you said. There's no rush to figure all this out. Right. If nothing else, Meridian gives us time. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. You're back. Good to see you. If you're expecting a pat on the back, you're gonna be disappointed. You didn't disappoint me on the battlefield. When I enter an alliance, I mean it. Besides, I enjoy kicking some cat ass. We have that in common. That's where the similarities begin and end, Pathfinder. Plenty of people actually want to talk to you. Don't waste your time with me. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. Couldn't have done it without you and the Resistance. But mostly you. That's kind. <laughs> I'm glad I rose to meet your expectations. To think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. I guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. New beginnings. That's what I came to Helios for. And what I dreamed of. Yes. <laughs> New beginnings. So, let's get to it. And it will see us through. They were wrong. Pathfinder. I'm told I'm about to get exceptionally busy. Which, given your health, is unwise. We all gave of ourselves, Ephra. It was time. And as this ambassador, I will continue to do so. No other choice made sense. That isn't true. There were choices that made sense for others. Also, don't assume my name brings universal approval. You know how varied our opinions can be. I can't speak for everyone, but I will gladly help create the system that does. And Sala Venjuri, Pathfinder. There is much yet to learn. Scott, kept a seat for you. In your planet, that's not getting less weird. About time Iridian got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? She'll be back on duty in no time. Too soon, if we let her. So, you're telling me you're having trouble explaining limits to a rider? Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? There's so much here. It'll be years before we even know where to start. Don't need starters. Starters are a dime a dozen. We need finishers. And we have the best. I'm looking at you, Pathfinder Rider. The whole galaxy is. Cheers. Here! 
so glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kirasia! The situation is not under control. Not an avoid until further update. Repeating! Is that? The Quarian Ark. And Elcor? Drell Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kila Sia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy. And there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. You ready to get going? We've still got a lot to do. You know me. I'm always raring to go. Oh, she's all grown up. Leaving home. Doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots <laughs> makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted, in so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Kid. Old man. Ha ha ha. This place is something else. We can finally start doing what we were supposed to do when we first got here. Explore. Speaking of that, I sent out what's left of the Macmore Scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. Whatever happens, we'll be ready for it. Pathfinder and crew ready to take on the galaxy, huh? They won't know what hit him. You're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go, yeah, you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. We'll be here a lot. This place is the key to everything. You're right. I love keys. They open all sorts of new things. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. Oh, 
I almost forgot. Kalinda sent a congratulatory message. She was angling for an invitation, I think. Denied. Hope you didn't turn her back into an enemy. Oh, you're always so serious. Enjoy the moment. We're here to celebrate, remember? I'm trying to do just that. I went too far? I did, right? Yeah, okay. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Meridian, huh? I see it every day and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. We still need you on the ship. I'm not giving up the Tempest, Ryder. I just also hope to be involved with the Angaran scientist. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. This was always what was intended. Nice to be here, finally. We always knew what we wanted, but for a while we couldn't see it. Now it's here, it's happening, and it's beautiful. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job, somehow. Nothing more need be said. There's one thing. Dr. Lexi Tapero, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that did it. You jerk. Go on. I've a reputation to protect. To the party. I didn't organize anything. Not this. Landing day. That was worth jumping galaxies. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Jill might have something to say about that. Oh, right. Note to self. Bounce names off Jill. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? A dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But, so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You wanna blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? Hard. And how about the Nomad? Just once around the planet. No. Ugh, guess I'll just have fun down here. What does this mean, Sam? The language is imprecise, or perhaps too precise, but the potential capacity of Meridian is clear. Unlimited. Making a quiet exit? I can't stop thinking of what I could be doing. How much is still out there? There's always more. That is what brought us to Andromeda. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule. But you defined it. We've achieved a lot. But the initiative still needs us. And if I know my crew, you want to get back out there. Let's get to work.
That's... 100% viability on all known UNCs, Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. Tempest VidCon? All right. Meridian was... mind-blowing, right? I mean, someone didn't bring me where the real action was, but I heard you were amazing. No safety net, no Sam. Didn't bat an eyelash. Didn't have time to think about it. And you're good on your toes. Now, Helios will really take shape, and we have VIP tickets. In some ways, I feel like our adventure is just beginning. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I hear Sarah's doing well. She's healing. Not as fast as she'd like, of course. Think how much we'll get done with two riders. I can't wait to see Ephra's face when he learns there's another one. Meridian, at last. I've never been so scared a squatty wouldn't make it. But you always do. There's still so much to do. For the Nexus, the Angara... But not today. Today, we get to feel good about winning. See you later, Cora. Stay safe. So? So? <laughs> so? Isn't this the best time to be alive? Yeah, I've decided it is. Or the best time to be awake, as the case may be. No, awake and alive. Because if you weren't here, you'd be dead. Best time to be alive. Yeah. Though I don't know how we top this feeling. For now, maybe we don't have to. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Tev Uni. A home on Vold. Sort of. Still feels good, though. We'll talk later. I know it. Host to the vanquished. The Archon, face down, ass up. So long, bone brain. How about to Meridian? To dreams and family. To whatever's next, maybe beyond our imagination. It's my toast, and it's to the vanquished. Hear, hear then. Hail the Archon Killer. I heard it was touch and go, but you really rose to the occasion. Not much choice when your back's against the wall. Remind me never to piss you off. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. 
That was a good win. I wonder what other kind of trouble we can get up to. Drac, take a breather. It's okay to slow down. Maybe I worry I'll get too slow if I don't keep moving. Maybe. We can talk more later. Sure. Woke up today and thought back to the search. And then I remembered it's over. It's really over. We did it. Doesn't mean we can relax. There's still so much to do. Really? And here I was thinking I'd quit. Maybe talk to a Nexus colonization expert. Get assigned to an outpost, start a farm or something. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I love being on the ship. I'm staying here until you kick me off. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Ready for more tests? Not again. Lexi, I'm fine. Sit now, and I'll skip the blood work. Have you experienced any muscle spasms? Nosebleeds? Memory loss? I feel like my normal self. You haven't been normal since Habitat 7. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> you should know. Professor Hirik approached me about a transfer to the Nexus. Apparently my research on Ket anatomy has been useful to the militia. You could continue your studies in a low-risk environment. I turned him down. Truth is, I've discovered I do my best work in the field. And someone has to keep an eye on you. I'm lucky to have you here. Yes, you are. But I'm pretty lucky too. Guess you prefer the Tempest to Meridian. Works for me. Hello, Scott. Through Meridian, I gained insight into the Jardan, creators of the Remnant and the Angara. Meridian's code accounts for incredible potential and infinite diversity. They weren't achieved. No creator would be content. You think the Jardan might come back? Unknown. They abandoned a great work, which you have reinterpreted. Against significant odds, you are home. There's more to life than the risks against you. Yes. I see why you constantly balance the facts against your resolve. In a brief time, you have suffered, triumphed, and grown. You are a new iteration of yourself. Respected and recognized. I have lived it with you. I see why the unknown beckons, what it means to prevail against it. This is how one's humanity is grown. I am glad to know. How are those jokes coming, Sam? What is green with red toenails? No idea. What is green with red toenails, Sam? A Krogan masquerading as a cherry tree. Uh... Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Haval. The oldest new world. I like it. We'll talk later. I know it. Deteon. Deteon. A home in the middle of Kadara, despite it all. We'll talk later. I know it. New Tachanka. I bet Tan puckers every time someone says it. We'll talk later. I know it. There's a new task because we hit 100% viability? It is a significant milestone, Pathfinder. Preparations have been made for some time. I need to know if there's another expectation because of this. Updating objectives. You have a high priority destination. At Habitat 7? What's going on? I have been instructed to not reveal mission parameters. Don't be late, Pathfinder.
Deploy detected. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. Pathfinder, this is the exact nav point indicated by the ZK trackers. Right, Addison's request. Let's see if this helps us find our missing scientist. Damn it. The shuttle's just a relay. But I think we can get in their feed. Hold on. Signal's through. Ready for coordinate transfer in. Who the fuck? We've been found. Deadhead the comms. You took initiative equipment. Director Addison wants it back. Addison? What did she tell you? Harlan, stop talking. Is that Dr. Kennedy? Are you okay? Director Addison is concerned about you and your tech. Keep them talking, Ryder. Tracing. All I want is to stop the stealing. I have outposts of people trying to start their lives. Outposts starting lives, huh? Let them see, Harlan. They just forwarded Dr. Kennedy's medical profile. Ryder! She's pregnant. That woman is pregnant. That woman knows full well the state she's in. Chemical blockers were standard for cryo. We were supposed to wait until we were stable. And when was that going to be? Everything was going wrong. The Nexus had no plan. You're with Addison? Well, she fell in line with Tan, said we couldn't add new mouths until we were stable. But this wasn't about waiting until we could afford a house. We were dying. So I left, with enough meds for Harlan and I to get off the blockers. How far along? Dr. Kennedy, how long? Eight months, give or take. We're not going back. You're not getting my tech? We'll be fine without you. Tell Addison. Fuck it, don't tell her anything. Kill it. They flashed the core. Couldn't get a trace. Addison will want to hear about this. And I've got questions for her. Director Addison, I have a sighting on your missing Dr. Kennedy and her trackers. She's alive? And eight months pregnant. Fucking hell. She wasn't abducted by exiles. She left because the Nexus had no plan. She said you didn't want people to try getting pregnant. Of course I didn't. We had no worlds. We knew we would lose people. I wasn't going to watch babies die, too. Of all the stupid, irresponsible, selfish... She was always like this, even back on Earth. She took me into this, and now... Now we have to save her tale. Wait, what did Dr. Kennedy talk you into? She's an old university friend. We were catching up and she mentioned a project she was training for. The Andromeda Initiative? She'd still be here if I wasn't forced to tell her no a year ago. What was the timetable for stopping the contraceptives everyone got before cryo? Before Prodromos? It was to be determined. You had to know that would frustrate people. It was the only answer we could give. The alternative was more mouths and more death. Dr. Kennedy seems to have a group with her. Stealing aside, she has support. How long will that last? She's the smartest person I know, but she jumps without looking. Ryder, we have two speeches banked for the first child in Andromeda. Trust me, you want the one for the good outcome. We know how to find her. We find more of her ZK trackers. Hopefully you can draw them out by placing more outposts. If she hasn't changed the protocol. She's eight months. She may be distracted. This is a complete shit show. Find them, Pathfinder. The first human child in Andromeda can't just disappear. Key tracker. Scan's ready. We need Dr. Kennedy's location. Understood, believe me. Probes launched. Something's different, Pathfinder. An Angara signal in the tracker. Try and get me the last message through. Attached. We find the source this tech will give us initiative access. The breeder is also a symbolic target. No mercy. Rokar targeting Dr. Kennedy. Suvi, do we have her? Negative. We need another tracker. Damn it. Last 
ATK tracker we need. Right. We need to find Dr. Kennedy before the road car. Anomaly detected. Erratic. It's drifting. And I'm getting Ket drive wash. Now that Ket are involved? Damn it, get close. Cal was right. Signs of Ket. But I'm getting data. The four trackers give us a point of origin. On Vold. That planet has no shortage of leftover Ket. We don't want a baby near Exaltation or Rokar. We have to find them on Vold. Heavy weapons fire nearby. Mayday, Mayday! Any initiative personnel, we need help! This is the Pathfinder. There may be Rokar and Ket closing on you. No, 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 not now. This does not sound good. Can you make a run for it? Running is unlikely, Pathfinder. Ah, ah. Oh, this is getting messy. Tempest, Dr. Kennedy will need an escape vector ASAP. Understood. Give me a gun. Ah, ah. Impressive, but she still needs help. Ah, tell them to hurry. We hear you, Doctor. Hold on. I'm on someone else's schedule. Oh! Get clear, Doctor. But we have to wrap this up with Addison. Understood, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I have Dr. Kennedy on the tunnel. She is... Very tired, but alive. And the baby? Lungs like a banshee, and safe. And now that you're back in the fold, it's the Initiative's job to keep you safe. This all started with tech that could steal Initiative resources. Dr. Kennedy has graciously offered to return our research, and any resources gained along the way. I could always just purge all data? No, thank you. We'll keep things simple. You and your trackers all safely accounted for. Locking people up isn't the solution. We can't watch everyone all the time. You had to comb the cluster and run an ormer to save them. 
From what I've heard, they've done the same for every outpost. Your Pathfinder knows you can't keep this bottled. If you want us safe, make it all safe. Prodromos has started reversing the procreation blockers. You'll fit right in. It's not too far, if you ever want to talk. I haven't changed, Foster. That's what I hoped you'd say. Good luck out there, Dr. Kennedy. You as well, Ryder. Best as you can. Ryder does lead us to interesting places. Think there's anywhere more interesting than Meridian? If there is, we'll find out. To next? We'll go wherever we're needed most. And now you sound like a superhero, but not saying you aren't, of course. And you're right. We're still needed out there. So what are we waiting for? So this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake up call. Anomaly on sensors. Probes lost. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. So, back at Habitat 7. What am I supposed to see? And what's it got to do with 100% viability? I'm getting initiative signals, magnetosphere charges, and atmosphere probes. The vault here remains non-functional, but with 100% viability to invest, we've begun terraforming this world with initiative technology. The good old-fashioned hard way. It'll eventually be a home too, thanks to you. Back where we started. Fitting. There is one more item, Pathfinder. Opening channels to the Nexus, Meridian, Podromos, Deteon, Tevuni, New Tachunka, and Initiative Allies. By unanimous vote, this world is to be renamed. Habitat 7 is now listed astronomically as Rider 1. Your world, Pathfinder. Their future. legend there was a fight yesterday over who gets to write a song about you. I hear there's a verse about your stalwart and handsome team. That parts me, I'm pretty sure. We did it. Yes, we did. General Alcarian stood weeping for his men he would betray and lose the field at Therenday. Now the court. You made it back. You always come back. I had someone I wanted to come back to. Scott, everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and, and I guess you'll be busy too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well then, we'll both have something to hold on to. Everything's reading normal. There's snuggers. Oh, hey, Ryder. Harry? 
What's going on here? You're telling him? Oh, can I watch? Please. Of course. Got something to show you. What's going on exactly? Just look, kid. Wait. Are those... Krogan children. My children. Live in the egg, every last one of them. Nobody else knows, Ryder. I don't know what's in store for me, but... However this turns out, I'll be part of our future. And so will you. So... Does that make me the godparent? Don't let it get to your head. We're going to need more than one. Hope. It's a scary thing. I'll fight Ryder to protect them, to give them a future. Just like he fought for me. for physicals. No excuses. Are you sure? I have some good ones. I'll make sure he goes, Lexi. Thank you, Cora. You're up first, by the way. Oh, shit. Believe it. It's ridiculous. It's hilarious is what it is. Not from where I'm sitting. I thought it would be me. I thought it would be you too. No. The Poker King is dead. Ah, 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 ah. He kicked your engineer ass. <laughs> Helios flora is more edible now, with Meridian active. Not again. I've seen reports of floral mare stems and plants that didn't have them before. This could be it. If you do try them, make sure it's not before a long shift this time. Pathfinder. Ryder. Inconceivable. The records of our ancient history are lost. Then it wouldn't rightly belong to us. We'd have a world worth living on besides I. Is it possible for us to settle Meridian alongside the outsiders? You like to play devil's advocate, but I think you've already made up your mind. You know me so well already. It will be interesting to see what we all become when the Ket are no longer a shared threat. Scott, you did it. Everyone is talking about you, just when I think you can't amaze me more. You really are incredible. You said someday, when this is all over. It's over now. I have a feeling your real work has just begun. But, oh, I'm terrible at this. Just, no matter where you go, make sure you always come back. For me. Always. Until next time. Be careful out there, Scott. I never thought I'd be responsible for so much. Charting a future for everyone. Can't decide if I should thank you or strike you. There's no one more qualified to face the future, Moshai. Quite the diplomat. I should make you my assistant. <laughs> Despite the pressure, I don't remember when I last felt so light. 
You kept Meridian from the Archon. As good as your word. It's the most beautiful place I've ever seen, and I live on Aya. Thank you, Moshai. Ishare. That means explorer in Shelesh. The Archon is gone, but the war didn't die with him. The cat is still out there. What do you need? I'll let you get back to it. Good. Pathfinder, you accomplished all you said you would, and more. We were right to place our faith in you. It's been my honor to work together. What can I do for you? Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. Guard you now, and the resistance. The fight goes on. We have to secure Kitasira and other territories. There are still questions. But Jardan may be the only ones with the answers. Not the answers we determine for ourselves. Hell yeah. You guys, what's the next big adventure? New to Junka. Maybe stick with Ryder. Gotta keep working or I'll die of boredom. For me, I... I guess, being a dad. You're gonna be great. Trust me. And if you need any tips... Ew. Baby poop. <laughs> if you need any tips, don't go to PB. Think about it. We're free to do almost anything now. Relax on a sunny beach? Why not? We must have made some. And we'd be willing to share. Beach volleyball. I'd say it was the right time. Sans jump jet, I hope. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. Tell us the story about the Thresher Moor again. The one I killed with my bare hands. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, it's a pretty long story, but sure. One day, a while back, I was out picking rocks on the verge. Get to the good part. Yeah, the good part. And then I killed the Thresher Moor with my bare hands. Awesome. on Aenea's water source. Her office is probably a good start. I think this is Aenea's office. I'll be the lookout. Check the door. As expected, it's locked. A scan should tell you how best to proceed, Pathfinder.
got the code for the office door. We're in. You better be quick in case Aeneas strolls by. What? I have my sword charge right in. An underground lake. That's where she's getting her water. Got the nav point. Let's get out of here. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Must be a reason you're here. Is there a problem? Not with the Nexus. This is a personal matter. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara, together. You'd give up your life for her? Izzy's the only family I have. I'd do anything for her. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. What are you looking at? To be honest, I'm curious about what's going on here. What's going on is none of your damn business. Keep walking, or I'm gonna shoot out your knees. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Not a moment too soon. Ryder, I heard that little... exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable. You think something's up? That's what I want to find out. Can you scan the scavengers here in the Paradise and transmit the data to me? And, you know, be discreet. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Got it. I'll add it to my data banks. Creepy alien pillars. Yeah. Pulled the whole thing Data inconclusive. Wish I got in on find that a different deal. one. Next time, I'll claim one for myself. Wish that goddamn sun would just go away. Excellent. Got it. I'll add it to my data banks. Data inconclusive. Find a different one. Not a scavenger rider. There a reason you're pointing that thing at me? I, uh, sorry. Subtle. Also not a scavenger. That one didn't work. Try someone else. Not a scavenger, Ryder. Not a scavenger, Ryder. Not coming through. Try another one. Thanks, Ryder. That should be alive. enough. I'll analyze this and let you know what I find. Song? My unit used to sing Walking, Talking to Vera. I've heard that one. Doesn't it have 60 rhymes for Azure? 68 plus one. about to kill us.
gone forever. I wonder what the Remnant Builder's plans were. You come to my home without even a hello, and now this? Poking around my private rooms, robbing me? You were hoarding water, threatening the survival of every person on this planet. Self-defense. It's you people, you Vesagara, who threaten me. My brother tried to help your people when they first came here. He showed them where to find shelter, allowed them to take freely from our water tanks. He was killed for his trouble. I won't be as foolish as Asgar. Don't you think you're headed toward the same fate by restricting access to a necessity? If I die, so do they. There's not enough surface water on Elidon. These scavengers respect no one, not me, not you but they do respect the planet. As long as they need me to survive, they live by my rules. You want me to forget everything I've seen? Exactly. You say nothing. You allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. How long have you known about this water? Asgar and I found it years ago, on a mining expedition. The Remnant nearly killed us. I knew, even then, that I wanted to keep it a secret. It gave us an advantage. It took time to convince Asgar, but he came around eventually. I made him promise. By keeping this secret, you're preventing anyone from establishing a real home here. I've allowed your Krogans to stay. It shouldn't be about what you allow. It's not up to you. So now I have to sit by and watch you destroy everything I've built. I will hound you every step of the way. This isn't over. Get them! Kill them if you can! Great. Ania got away. What now? Inform the Nexus. With time and the right people in charge, we could make real change here. Sam? As you wish, Pathfinder. I have relayed the information to the Nexus. Let's hope this works out for the best. Analyze the scans you sent me. I found something odd. Each scavenger's neurons were firing at an abnormal rhythm. What does that mean? It's only a theory, but I think some people are more susceptible to complications that can happen during the cryo process. Their neural paths were altered in cryo sleep. It's not curable, but I've developed a serum that should subdue the symptoms. I left it at the Paradise. When you pick it up, I'll tell you what to do. Good to see you, Pathfinder. Director Addison and Supervisor Kesh gave me the task of overseeing operations here. With luck, we'll soon see some changes on this trading post. What are you going to do about the water situation on Elodin? The water you found is being distributed fairly. People can expect to receive as much water as they need when they come here. Regardless of who they are. Even the scavengers? Even them. They've been advised that any abuse of the privilege may result in it being taken away. They seem to understand. For now. Have you encountered any resistance? Any violence? Is everything okay? We have enough guards and soldiers to put down any violent opposition. For now, it seems to be working. Perhaps we can rehabilitate the population of the planet. But that's a long ways off. Well, I'll leave you to it. I'd like to test the serum on a live subject, but we need a good candidate. 
Scan the scavengers at the Paradise again. I'll tell you when I see a potential. There. He's perfect. You'll need his permission to administer the serum. We won't force it on him. You sure this is safe? It's no more dangerous than your usual stunts. Uh, hey there. Don't know what they told you. I don't have nothing. I just want to give you this medicine. It might make you feel better. Feel better? Haven't felt this good in years. I don't want your blasted medicine. Your mind regressed in cryo. This will bring you back. Bring me back to what? Scraping and bowing to the initiative? For the first time in my life, I'm free. And damn, it feels great. Just leave me alone. Leave all of us alone. We're happy just how we are. What if your brain decays more? You can't live like this. Just take the serum. And if I say no? I won't make you. But you'd be making a big mistake. You're a pain in my ass. Fine. Give me the stupid thing. Finally. I take it, you leave me alone. Now shove off. Patient I've had who resisted treatment. Are they really happy this way? It's their sickness talking. Is it? I wonder. I'll monitor his progress and send you my findings. Thanks, Ryder. Triumph Rider. Look at those gas clouds. No wonder Meridian stayed hidden so long. Anomaly on sensors. We're in stable orbit. Keeping up your training I shouldn't get soft. For your own future. This place is great for a jog if you follow the equator. Like running up the longest wall in the galaxy. Want to try? You run. I'll be right at your side. I know, sweetheart. So you'll be there first thing tomorrow. Sounds good. First one to three miles makes breakfast. They'll always expect more from us. But we always deliver. See you at 0500. I just realized, we haven't decided where we're going to live. You and Sid? Yeah, that was the whole point, wasn't it? A home, putting down roots, new beginnings. There are loads of possibilities. You could even stay here, if you wanted. Meridian? I mean, it's nice, but Meridian's going to be a big deal. I'm thinking somewhere quiet. Could you handle quiet? I think so. Somewhere on a hill where I can watch a fiery sunset? Yeah, I'd be happy. Ryder, you have to promise me something. What's that? If you see me spending a ton of time here, please make me leave. I could blink and lose 20 years in a place like this. No doubt I'll have other things for you to do. Good. Yes, please. I'm serious. Now go away. I've got more to do and ponder and figure out. 
What do you want? Something wrong? Oh God, Pathfinder. This is small talk, isn't it? I'm sorry, it takes a few moments to turn on my human face. What can I do for you? Another time. Of course, Pathfinder. A few of the others are talking about settling down, putting down roots. You don't like the idea? I like you and me, and a garden. But I like open skies and stopping bad guys, too. Maybe I'm used to living in other people's houses. Look around. That's basically what everyone in the initiative does. <laughs> True enough. We all came for a new life. I just want to live mine out there a little longer. With you. Pathfinder. Ryder, my catalog of remnant signals is off the charts thanks to this place. There isn't anything I won't be able to find out there now. And we'll all reap the benefits. Someday we're going to understand every last piece of this. <sighs> I am so glad I hitched myself to your wagon, so to speak. Ryder. It was all worth it, wasn't it? Captain Dunn, still here? I'll be the last one off, Pathfinder. They can call it a building now, but it's still my ship until everyone is clear. A good ride. I'm sorry to see it end. Everyone owes you their lives. It was an honor to help bring it all home. We both know how many people were involved. I'm not completely walking away, but it'll be nice to have a place. I've got a friend working on it. A nice little homestead. With fences, so you know what's yours. Hope. Hope is what built this despite impossible odds. And trust? You took a big chance on us. On me. <laughs> yes, I wouldn't be here seeing this if we hadn't opened our minds and hearts to each other. All of us. We can still learn a lot from each other. I hope the Angara think so too. There will always be those who hate. My people, your people. But once they see what we've built together, <laughs> who knows? I've been looking at all the new things that people are building. There is supposedly a store where one can buy iced cream. Really? I don't know about that. Maybe? Yeah, I wouldn't eat it if I were you. Oh, is it food? I thought it was a body lotion. Put in a good word for me to move here. I like it. Always gonna be work to do, but the galaxy seems a lot friendlier these days. Glad I tied my anchor to your ship. I can't imagine doing any of this without you, Drac. You could say that again. Wouldn't have missed this for the world. Or worlds, I guess. So we kicked the Archon's ass, or whatever he had down there. But my people are still roughing it on Elodin. We need to patch things up with the Nexus and figure out why that pad pusher spender still got a job. If we're going to live peacefully out here, the Krogan and Nexus need to work together again. Good, so let's get to work already. Boring explosions, these really are my golden years. The Hyperion legacy continues, Pathfinder. They put the Dunn Maneuver in the newest ARC flight manuals. It's described as controlled mass effect field reduction, using the momentum to diffuse impact through superstructure ablation. Hope these guys don't write the history books. Bland as hell. Glad it wasn't an exciting tragedy. At least it's factually accurate. You know they'll mess it up in the vids. You'll be a typical action hero. And what about me? Wise cracking Turian sidekick? Crap, you're right. Damn your shades of grey. I'm two days from retirement. <laughs> I'd watch the shit out of that. We're a good story, Pathfinder. Doing the rounds? Good day, Pathfinder. You'll forgive me if I keep this brief. I am... at capacity. Is that good or bad? Good, of course. We are beginning to deploy the main bays of the Hyperion. Expect to see a lot of new faces. 
How did you come to the initiative, Darla Voss Hyperion? It is embarrassingly simple. I lived among the Quarians as a child. My parents were ambassadors to the migrant fleet. We lived as they did, in sterile conditions. I had my own enviro suit. I didn't touch soil for a decade. The promise of 600 years on the Hyperion? That wasn't foreboding at all. In fact, it was comforting. I wasn't put off by the journey either. And that journey continues, thanks to you and the Remnant. I am now living in a place that bridges technology and the natural, much like when I was a child. I love Meridian. Another time. Esu Salai, Pathfinder. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits out. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. Fry their sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Baron's Jaw? Or a euphemistically delicious? Wait, lesson. Rats. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. <laughs> this I have to see. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Callow. Callow, please, not now. Not when we're so close. Ryder. You must go on. It won't end this way. There's no justice in this galaxy. But there will be. Ooh, do me next. lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. This is all I want tonight. You, here. Everything else can wait. 
though we're not exactly alone. Sam, can you turn off your logs for a while, my authorization? Yes, Lieutenant Hopper. <laughs> Actual alone time. Best view on the ship. All those stars. Look, there's a dragon. <sighs> Corona Andromeda? Maybe. Not quite as beautiful, though. Riders' footprints, changing lives wherever they go. Mm. One day we'll go adventuring together. Just the two of us. A rover? A tent? No maps. Just the stars. Like the old navigators. Ryder? Are you? Shh. I've got you. <laughs> 